we go. Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. It is the day after Delilah's litter. Um, so I'm not sure when you're gonna see this video, but we'll get it edited and sent out as soon as we can. But uh, we are out feeding this evening and Smitten decided it was time for her piglets. So this is the day after Delilah's piglets. I just finished feeding. She had one that I've seen so far. So we're gonna come out here and check how many piglets we've got so far which is two only two yeah it's a beauty though oh nice they're both double waddle both boys all right both and both. she's starting to push and leak so we think another one's coming anytime now all right yeah milk or behind <clears throat> rear end yeah yeah all right so she has calmed down she was a little uh I don't say agitated, but she doesn't like her babies on her face at all. Yeah, she wants those babies away from her face, but it looks like she's calmed down now. She's got two, so we're gonna hang out and see how many Smitten has. We'll come down here and check out Delilah's. She was having a hard time sitting down; they were all under her. But uh, everyone has settled in now. And then we, if you remember, there's six left. We lost that one early this morning but today is smitten's turn so we're gonna hang out a bit it is not midnight so whoever said three months three weeks three days and 3 a.m in the morning is wrong these came about four in the afternoon so we're gonna hang out and uh see how many piglets she has guys we are up to seven and if you believe it or not we've got six boys and one girl the one girl is the one that looks like a cow here um, they're all double waddled all seem to be doing good it's only six there but we've got one here not dead sleeping this is the first one that was out um, it's about an hour in between the first two or three and now they're starting to come a little bit faster so this one had uh, all the milk it can handle. I think he's in a milk coma now. Or sh oh yeah, he, there's only one girl, so I shouldn't mess this up too bad. But here are the other five, nope, six. So it's seven. Seven total. Seven total. And she is still pushing, so we're gonna see what else, see if we can get some more girls. All right, guys, it is nine o'clock and uh, took out some placenta. We think she is done. And uh, this is our first time for us with a boy heavy litter. And we've had litters with more boys and girls, but this is six boys and one female, all double waddled, all doing pretty well. This first one out that was drinking for an hour by itself has crashed while these other ones are filling up. The girl is the speckled cow. We talked about that earlier, so kind of unique that she's the only girl, and she's quite different than the rest of them. So two healthy litters, two days apart. Smitten is exhausted, and I cannot blame her. She was having trouble getting up. She was so big in her belly, but she's got plenty of milk to be able to uh, support these seven. Um, 
Let's see. I was gonna show you what's what, but I don't have to because one girl, boy, 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 boy. So it doesn't really look like a runt in here. So I know a girl's got milk all over her face, but um, they're all a good, a good size. So the dad is brighter and uh, mom is smitten. First, first litter from smitten on our farm. So this one was a little bit different. She was, she had a lot of blood and not like it was, um, we weren't in fear for her, but a lot of blood, a lot of yuck. One of them was born inside of the sack. I had to tear the sack off. That was a first for us, but first two piglets were about an hour apart. First, second, and then to the third one was about another hour. And then they started coming a little bit faster. So we thought we'd have an early night. It's only nine o'clock, but I'm not feeling that well. So it seems like a very late night. Um, tomorrow's supposed to get down into the thirties. So we put up the the flaps to keep the breeze out. Got the heat lamp there. They should be good. So we're going to call it a night. Um, two great litters. We'll come back in the morning, check these guys out, and uh, we'll also check out Delilah's in the morning. So we appreciate y'all following along, and we will see you in the morning. Good morning guys, welcome back this morning. Uh, we are dropping down into the 30s tonight. About sick of all these Tennessee winters, but I'm feeling a little bit better. Brooklyn got up this morning and had most of the chores finished before I was awake. So that was a very welcome surprise. So let's go in here and uh, check out all the piglets. Um, it's been a busy two days for us here at the farm but also an exciting two days so anyway she said they were all doing great this morning smitten came out and ate hey honey hey honey she came out and ate this morning and was doing good we upped her feed same as uh, delilah's but you can see all the piglets are doing okay Mama's doing okay, which is very nice. So we are definitely boy heavy, um, and that is totally fine. You just get whatever they give you, and uh, it is good. But uh, these curtains are making a heck of a difference with that cold breeze. They've got the heat lamp that they've been under, and right up next to Mama with all that hay is a very warm spot. So everybody's doing good, everybody's eating. Um, fingers crossed, we always talk about the three-day mark. Usually by about day three, everybody's out of the woods. If anything's going to happen, normally it's in those first three days. But they are all looking great. So spring litter number two is finished. And uh, looking forward to these piglets growing up. <laughs> We've got this one back here sleeping behind Mama. I'm not going to move it because... He looks very comfortable. This should be easy for me to remember. I say that and I'm sure I'll forget boys and girls, but you guys remember that's all spotted. It's actually brown, but it will turn to a black color as she's older is the only girl. So she's got a lot of brothers to put up. So Smitten's first litter on the farm, a big success. And uh, we are quite happy. A lot of cool colors, um, markings all the different things that we like. So you guys remember also that Cooney Coonies, no two piglets are the same. So we don't just have a big old litter of all pink pigs. We get to get to see the different colors and things that come. Let's check out Delilah's litter while we're here. It's not bad in the barn, so that is good. It's not breezy. It is actually pretty nice in here. So here's Delilah. Let's see, and her six pigs all in a row. Hey, Delilah, do you already feed all the babies? Do you already feed all the babies? Yeah, so they are doing great as well. A day older, Delilah is a smaller pig, so I would assume this old floppy ear. I would assume that. <laughs> 
that uh, these piglets will be smaller in size, but she's got great confirmation that we really like. She's a small pig, but she's a very sturdy pig. So two days apart, it's kind of fun. It also works out good. If anything ever happens to the mamas, sometimes it does not always work. We've heard stories of the mamas attacking other pigs, but there would be an option that we could try to get them on the other mama. Like I said, that doesn't always work. Um, I've heard stories of when it works and stories of when it hasn't. So it's kind of nice to have them together just in case something happened. We'd have an option to try to get them on another mama. But like I said, I've heard things, stories that that doesn't work. But it would be an option. But all the piglets are doing well. I love the snouts headed towards the sky as they nurse. Obviously, we'll be following these guys along on their journey as they grow and mature. We've got a couple more possible litters coming, but we will keep you updated on these litters. We appreciate you guys following along, and don't forget to make the change.